Oh. Now you can hear Me Plus Cake all the time. Hey, we've been on 24-7 for a while now. Yes. How do you how do you think it's going? Great. You had to think about great? Yes. That means you don't think it's great. I do think it's great. Are you are you upset that we're on 24-7? Is it too much? No. We don't mind not getting any sleep and getting addicted to all kinds of drugs that keep us awake, like mm-hmm. caffeine and... What Sacks a, of movie popcorn. Yeah, I mean, that's how we survive on caffeine and movie popcorn. Mm-hmm. So just, just know we're giving up our lives so you can enjoy something in yours. Mm-hmm. Me Plus Cake. Now on 24-7. Only on Marconi One. Radio for the people. God, it's so loud. We are uh, podcasting to you. We are testing Sierra's microphone out. We just got a new microphone because, as you know, she'll be moving to Canada very soon in a couple of weeks, and she needs to have her microphone. I do. I mean, and it, it's, I mean, we'll admit it doesn't. It's not perfect. I mean, it's not like you. It just sounds no different. But I think the average, like most people, won't even notice. I don't think so. Yeah. I mean, I mean it, it's pretty good, I would say so. I mean, myself. we don't ever talk except for on the podcast, so it won't be much different for my personal life anyway. So it's like you're here. You are so ridiculous. Even though you're in the other room. Hold on a second. Like, So I'm going to take, I'm going to run from the studio into the room you're in right now. Okay, go. And I will be on your mic in like two seconds. Let's see how long it takes me. And just talk, you know, until then, all right? All right. You ready? Go. Go. <clears throat> Oh. oh God! Here, oh, here it comes! Oh my Lord! Sla- oh, slamming oh, doors. Is that like a world record of some kind? I don't know. Ten seconds. All right, Ethan. No, not, shorter than that. Ten seconds. Well, you so, slow shuffle. How dare you! <laughs> all right, but I opened a door and closed a door. Okay, all right. I'm timing. Ready? One, two, three, go. All right. One, <laughs> two, three, four, ah. five. Back to the microphone. Ha <laughs> ha. Six seconds. It was not six seconds. Yes, it was. I counted out loud. Oh, I don't believe any of this. You know what? This will never hold up in a court of law. Uh, Thank you for listening to our podcast. We're just testing out equipment because we want to make sure that we continue to do Me Plus Cake even once we're not in the same place together. And trying not to get sad about that. But Don't be sad. Well, I know you, you will be fine, but... Oh, please. I'm really going to miss little Tiny and Nala. <laughs> Find Me Plus Cake on Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and more. MePlusCake.com. There's a guy on the internet. His name's Brock Baker, and he does impressions. And I guess he did a video of 33 Simpsons characters in five minutes. Of course, we're not oh, going to do that pretty. entire time, but... <laughs> He seems he seems like a really likable guy, somebody that I might actually watch on YouTube. But here's his video that he did. Wait, now it's we got a commercial. Come on, YouTube, no commercials. We're trying to do a show here. We just we just said YouTube. Isn't that enough of a commercial? All right, here we go. <laughs> the Simpsons. Everybody, welcome to yet another impression video. Oh boy, I sure can't get enough of these. I diagnose you with a severe case of sarcasm. <laughs> this time, we're covering The Simpsons in five. See, I, don't, I mean, I, I think he's a good impressionist because I listened to a, a couple of other of his videos. I watched them. Mm-hmm. I don't think his Simpsons are his strongest, which is weird. This is Not the one that's all. gone I viral like- for him. Okay. I mean, I can do a better homie than him. Hey, it's yeah. Mo. You know? Hey, hey, kids, it's Krusty. You know? Hey. <laughs> but but he is. I don't know. And, and the thing is, is like those are so like done. You know, impressions of The Simpsons. I liked his. He has a video of. Here's one that I thought was really cool. Where is it? Where did Where did your video go? Where? I'm on his. Where? I'm on his page now. By the way, his uh, it's MC, MC Goiter is, is his, 
<laughs> is the name of his site. Here, let's just check out his Looney Tunes impressions. They might be really oh. good. Okay. What's up, Doc? Really? No. <laughs> Not even a little bit. Okay. So, all terrible. right. So I'm, I'm disappointed because I really liked him. Okay. Here's his Muppets. I think his Muppets is better. <laughs> Why are there so many Kermit impressions? And why aren't any of them good? Including that one. (laughs) Are you going to impersonate moi? Hiya! And for my next trick, I will have an interspecies relationship with this chicken. Why did the chicken cross the road? To get away from Gonzo, huh? Waka waka. Meep, 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 meep. (laughs) Woman, woman, woman! I just came to the startling realization that Ralph sounds like Dr. Teeth, sounds like Waldorf. Yeah, but only when this guy does him. <laughs> so he's pretty good at the uh, Muppets. The Muppets are good, but the rest of them are... Yeah, I mean, I, you know, some people... I mean, he does all kinds of them. Um, we'll put the link on mepluscake.com. He uh, has, like, an because he does... Spon- Want to see what this is, he sounds like on SpongeBob? Sure. Let's are get- you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain. SpongeBob SquarePants! In a minute. Come on, you know... I wumbo, you wumbo, he, she, me, wumbo. You'll have to tell me because I've never seen SpongeBob before. That's Patrick, I do believe. Okay, so, okay. Wombology, the study of wumbo, it's first grade SpongeBob. (laughs) What happened to me money? All right, who is that? I don't know. All that's left. I don't. I don't like SpongeBob. SpongeBob scares me. Plankton. I don't know what you're talking about, Krabs. This is forty-two dollars. Yes, the meaning of life. I will buy the Krabby Patty formula with these dollars. Well, maybe I should just kill myself. <laughs> that was a dark episode. See, I don't. I don't really know him. I don't know enough about that show. He did a, uh, a Family Guy voice-off with a guy. We should check that oh, out. All right. Bit. Time to read some YouTube comments. My favorite part of this job. The only people that come popping off at some little um, little side side area over here to get Well, the, uh, you know what? You, we're, 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 we're not going to do that. <laughs> but kind of everybody does these impressions, which is the one thing. So if you're going to actually do them, you want to be good. Like our favorite we do all the time is... Herbert the pervert. <laughs> Super de duper. I mostly don't like people who do impressions because they always do them and they think that they're so good and Sometimes most of the time Sierra they're not. Sometimes Sierra gets into the voice too. She likes to talk like this with me. Yes, but I don't try and do impressions of people. So, 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 we just do this voice all the time, like pretty much <laughs> 24-7. Stop it. Stop Get out. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. I think this guy's pretty. I mean, he's entertaining enough to like likable. So I guess I, it, Mick Goiter is his website. His name's uh, Brock Baker, and uh, he's got a YouTube thing going. Like him or not, check him out. I mean, you might like. Him. Marconi Plus Sierra is me plus K. There's an article here that telling you that Delhi Dilemma, meat and cheese, are linked to earlier death. Well, see ya. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's a small sacrifice to make <laughs> to continue eating meat and cheese, really. I mean, yeah, what do we have to look forward to in life? More crap? I mean, how much interneting can we do? We're all bored out of our minds anyway, right? Yep. Uh, you, you know, get to the, eat bland quinoa and yeah, the, yeah. I'm not into that. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna just eat. Uh, okay, I could probably 
do less meat, and I have. I don't really do a lot of, like, red meat. Yeah. Uh, I could I could probably cut out chicken. Yeah. But uh, uh, the cheese, no way. Definitely not. I mean, I could I could definitely cut down on cheese, and I'll be honest. Only in the last few weeks have I um, been upping my cheese game. Because, yes, you have actually. Well, and and that's to compensate for the fact that my girlfriend's moving to Canada. I just you're just gorging. I cope in different ways, you know. <laughs> so my can my girlfriend moves back to Canada. I find the excuse to eat more cheese. What what's wrong with that? That's normal. Yep. There's it's that's yep. If I die in the process, what a way to go. It is that's my With theory. Cheese and meats. They always all over your body. Always, they're always telling you to eat less this and that. Everything that's good is literally bad for like you. what are we supposed to eat in this world anymore? Like cardboard? Even well, in cardboard, organic cardboard. <laughs> yes, it is. God. It is even more delicious because it's locally grown. Indeed, yes. Marconi bologna plus Sierra cake. Me plus cake. So there's a band playing, and one of the guys in the band has a heart attack on stage during a performance. Luckily for the guy, there were two nurses in the crowd to perform CPR on him and saved his life. And I bet you they loved it. Yeah, he had a heart attack. Well, one of them was from the opening band. So yep. how convenient is that? Weird. And But when you look at it, okay, so there's a black and white picture. There's three guys in this band. Which guy do you think had the heart attack? Yeah. I'm going to go with the heavy set dude. I'm going to go with I don't think it's yeah, the drummer. Probably. Probably. Heavy set dude, not the bassist? No. All right, there you go. You would be correct. <laughs> oh, really? Uh yeah, but he would have died if these uh ladies wouldn't have been there. Isn't that amazing that Aww. So that just like could you get if you would just learn some nursing skills. It would help me in my future, probably. You're not allowed to have a heart attack. Well, it, it could. Ha I mean, I'm taking a baby aspirin every single day. Well, your heart should be strong as an ox. Right. And twice as flat-headed. I don't even know what that means. Thick, thick-headed. But all, I, all I'm saying is <laughs> it, it just teaches you that, like, having a nurse or a doctor around at all times is beneficial to your lifespan. I took a, like babysitting course many 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 years ago there's there are babysitting courses in canada yeah you have to otherwise you're not like legally allowed to look after someone else are you kidding brats yeah that's my dad crazy i never knew that for... I, I don't think that's a thing in america that i know of but yeah weird. my dad wanted me to take it for just so he could sister. so you could watch the kids yeah <laughs> i didn't babysit kids other than my family because i hated kids but you have even to babysit your own brothers and sisters you have to be certified no, my dad just wanted me to because he was always paranoid. Oh, okay. Well, that is actually, that's smart. But so if you babysat somebody else's kid and got paid for it, you couldn't do that unless you had a certification or something? Uh, Yeah, technically you're supposed to be like certified. Lots of people don't, but yeah. Okay, so you took this course and you learned some CPR tactics? I did. So like right now, if I was uh, like in the middle of the podcast, if something happened to me, you'd be able to save my life. Um... Because I was just thinking of eating a block uh, of cheese, if that's no, no big no, deal. No, don't do that. You're going to die. <laughs> I don't want to have to do these things. They met on the internet. It's me plus cake. Behind the scenes, stuff happens on our podcast that we don't even really realize is happening until it after. <laughs> I'm laughing. Yeah. Okay. So Bijou, you know, because Sierra Cake's leaving. She's taking Bijou with her and I'm, I'm pretty sad about it to be honest uh but i picked up beige and sometimes bijou squawks if she's tickled or like you know whatever for no reason but it sounds like way worse than it is and here's here's what it sounds like and then me going oh oh <laughs> that's what we've been laughing at for like the last 10 minutes oh <laughs> oh <laughs> I picked her up, and then I had to put her back down because I felt like I'm just going to make her more uncomfortable. Oh. And now that I'm playing this, it sounds like a little honky horn. 
You know what it sounds like is when you like twang a chord on a guitar. Funny. <laughs> no, it sounds like you know, when, like one of those little like clown horns or whatever, or a horn on your bicycle. <laughs> Like, coming through. <laughs> I hope you kids get off the sidewalk so I can just ride my bike straight down. <laughs> oh, hold on a second. I see the ice cream, man. <laughs> I'm going to keep, go? just keep plowing on. <laughs> I really should, I really want that as my new squeaky horn on my bike. I well. Can we insert? Can, well, can you just leave Beige here, or I can have her cloned, or that no, sound, or you something? can have her cloned. No, <laughs> Beige looks embarrassed now that we've done this to her. <laughs> she is. I'm so sorry, Beige. Now she's gonna be like, "Yeah, can we go right now? Can we leave immediately?" <laughs> oh. He's embarrassed me, and he's embarrassed me in America. That bastard. Marconi Baloney, Sierra Cake. <laughs> Me plus Kate. Conan O'Brien is going to host the 2014 MTV Movie Awards. Aw, yeah. So it should be at least funny, we're hoping. I mean, yeah, you like him. I, I love him. So I'm, He's your Well, the, the thing is, is like everybody is, you know, <clears throat> all the network guys like uh, Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Kimmel, Seth Meyers. And, but then Conan is still doing a show. He just happens to be on cable. I don't understand. This is what I, I don't get. Is like It's 2014. Conan lost The Tonight Show and went and now is doing another show. Mm-hmm. But he, just because he's not on the traditional network, he gets like kind of discounted in some way. Like They're talking, you know, all these exciting things are happening in late night and blah, 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 blah. Conan's still doing a show. It's not like he disappeared or anything. Yeah, he fell off the face of the earth. You can watch him on the internet just like anybody else. It's kind of weird how suddenly, you know, uh, maybe it's just because certain things get promoted more. I don't know. But doesn't it seem like in some way, because Jimmy Fallon now is the young guy everybody's kind of looking at, and Seth Meyers is doing the late night show, that like Conan is kind of like taking a backseat to all of it, where he used to be in the front forefront before? Yeah. I don't know, but uh, I'm glad he's going to be doing the uh, the movie awards. I might actually watch. You'll Who's have kidding? To. Who am I kidding? I'm not going to watch this crap. <laughs> <laughs> I'll watch it on the internet. Me plus cake. Lambs are gathering for the work of a new day. Well, we were just talking about this. How we were in a movie theater and a guy was lighting up his e cigarette, and we were like, "Really? Come it was on. weird." In Los Angeles. It, they are now going to ban e-cigarette, e-cigarettes in public areas. Oh, Lord. Yeah. So I think, but in L.A., you can't even smoke anywhere. Like, literally, like, there's no smoking areas except for inside your house. Yeah, same with in most places of Canada. I like, like that. You can't I mean, smoke in restaurants. You can't, like, nothing. You can't smoke on the street? Nope. See, I, I'm... Oh, on the street. Yeah, you can. Oh, okay. Because in L.A., I don't even think you can smoke on the street. Well, because there's so much smog there. <laughs> right. Seriously, I think that's why. But there, they, there's a new ordinance uh, that was approved during the uh, 14-0 and 0 vote and prohibits vaping at farmers vaping. markets, parks, recreational areas, beaches, indoor workplaces such as bars and nightclubs, outdoor dining areas, and other locations where tobacco smoking is restricted. Good. Yeah, I mean... Honestly, look, I get it if you're a smoker, but okay, there's way, I, I don't know, I just think that it's it's a better thing. We'll all get along better if you don't smoke in my face. Yep. You know? And and these e-cigarettes, people are so cavalier about, yeah, I can smoke anywhere. I know, like, who smokes in a movie theater? That's weird. It, it, it's annoying. It's it's I another mean, form of douchebaggery. You can't smell it, so it's, it's a, not that big of a deal, but it's, I don't know, it's but weird. But the thing is, is it, it's not a big deal because we have no idea, there is no study on the effects of e-cigarettes and, like, secondhand e-cigarette smoke. Secondhand, because it's vapor, that's why. Yeah, but we don't know. And, uh, you know, the one thing I do know is um, they talked about this. Um, a doctor was actually talking about this. He said that uh, it inflames your lungs and does increase 
your chance for cancer. So because it's because it's um, it's vapor, like you're inhaling like steam and chemicals. They have chemicals in the actual thing that that has to hold in the the tobacco or whatever, right? Yeah, yeah. So I mean, that can't. I mean, it's not. It just can't be healthy. I don't know. Yeah, it's it seems- inconclusive, like what it can actually do to damage it. But how long did people smoke tobacco before they found out the the damages that it could just do? like inhaling anything that's a chemical like into your body is just not yeah. So like I like to hookah, but even then I don't do the ones with tobacco, and I don't do it often. Now you and I, you and I did it, and I was like, oh okay, I'm good. Yeah. So, uh, but uh, but like I would never, I would never, even if I was a smoker trying to get off cigarettes. I would never just sit there in a movie theater and cavalierly, if that's a word, wave uh, my e-cigarette in your face and blow smoke everywhere. No, that's weird. That's a douchebag move. So good for you, L.A. You've finally done something fantastic. <laughs> it helps us start the day with warmth and vigor. Me plus cake. Here's a guy who I think is pretty smart. He's a doctor. His name is David Agus, and he's written a book called Short Guide to a long life and it's some simple stuff like for instance like one of them is schedule daily downtime oh i like the sounds of that for your brain to just like chill like no screens just kind of like you know chill out be positive here's here's one i think is kind of cool be positive if you believe you can be healthier guess what you will oh jesus yeah i mean and i've heard this guy speak and he's very uh, articulate and very uh, smart about all the things. He is good friends with a lot of really famous people. He oh. was a great friends with Steve Jobs and oh, yes. learned a lot from him. And he actually healed, or I wouldn't say healed, but he um, brought Robin Quivers from Howard Stern Show through her cancer. So well, that's good. Um, uh, this is a guy who kind of knows a lot of stuff, and he says that you're supposed to go to bed and wake up at the same time every day, get a routine going, that's good. Um, mm-hmm. He also suggests taking a baby aspirin every day for, uh, it's because of the inflammatory uh, for your heart. It is, yep. And it, it reduces the the risk of cancer by 27%. Wow. So, I mean, um, another thing he says in here, get naked. I love being you naked. You need to be aware of notable changes seen uh, your uh, when you see your body, and yeah, like when my stomach gets fat. He says, "Ditch vitamins." So there oh. are no vitamins <laughs> that you need. You need to eat the actual food that has the vitamins in it. You can't replace those with supplements. Oh, I don't quite believe that. I think some vitamins are good to take. Are you Are you a doctor? Yeah. Oh, you went to twelve years of school. Yeah, I'm my own doctor. Oh, I see. Like um, calcium it says, don't vitamins forget, and stuff are it also good for says, women. Don't forget your teeth and feet, which oh, are very gosh. important because anything that like gum disease or anything like that is a direct effect on your heart. Yeah. That's so, the same with uh, pets. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And uh, feet, I guess it just means like wear shoes that are supportive to your feet and stuff like that. Because a lot of people, they get to be, you know, in their 70s and 80s and they can't walk anymore because, and especially I'm guessing more so even in women because women wear are always wearing heels. high heels and uncomfortable shoes. And they say if your feet are cold all the time, you have really bad circulation. So that's not good for your heart. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to get this book. It's a short guide to a long life by David B. Agus, MD. You can get it on Amazon right now. In fact, I'm just going to tweet the link because so yeah. many people are going to want this. It's. I mean, it looks uh, – it's a short guide. And the guy, like I heard him on the Howard Stern show the other day. And he's very articulate, and he has, like, data to back up, like, all the stuff that he's talking about. And he even talked about e-cigarette, e-cigarettes that um, they do inflame your lungs and increase chances for cancer. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of things going on in the world. Why not? I mean, what do you have to lose? Check out this book, right? Right. Me, me, me plus cake. It is a pleasant spur to the morning's work. It's a show where my girlfriend Sierra and I get on the internet and give ourselves away to you. Whoa. Yeah. Like virginities? Listen. No. Yes. How, no. <laughs> what, what are you even... 
We took a we took a your mind is filthy test yesterday. Yeah. What are you even thinking? I mean, come on. I just I think about we, lots of things. We offer up our lives to people. Our, our souls to Yeah, Satan. we talk about things and Satan. ourselves. Like here's the question that has been posed to us on uh Twitter. Mm-hmm. What is your most prized possession? I'm not Ooh. talking about relationships, pets or anything like that. Oh, Actual so no pos- Pets or anything? Yeah. Okay. Um, you go first. I have to think. Yeah, I was thinking that uh, there's so many things, but value as far as like what brings me some kind of a way to live, I would say my equipment, like my studio equipment. Mm-hmm. Like that would be like if I had to put a value on like what's most important, that. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I love like... Seriously, I love like the you gave me this poster of Portland. Yep. And you gave me a ra- a Marconi radio. That I was waiting for you to say that, Jesus. And uh you also gave me a Breaking Bad picture. It's like yep. a an an abstract kind of cool picture and I it's like there's so many things. I think but like if I was going to have to put like prized possession it would definitely be from you because I love you. And so you're Aww. my, you're, you know, it means more to me than just, but I think like little things too, if I had to like go back, like, uh, like my, my, my sound box, I, I help build this myself, you know, and this is mm-hmm. what I use every day to make money. Yeah. So like the, the thing that I use in my voice studio, certain things like that. But like, as far as like, Sentimental, I would say, the stuff that you've gotten me, like the Marconi radio and the the poster of Portland that uh, is like a map of old Portland. It's really cool. So that kind of stuff. Yeah. What, what my about you? Favorite, well, like my most prized things. Um, I've got like a. A couple like higher end items in like clothing that I really really love, but that I've like purchased for myself, so I'm like really proud of them, I guess. So I like I like those; those are valuable. Um, but like as a thing that's valuable just to me, I guess, is my uh, little stuffed um, dog that sits next to my bed. Oh, I see. I wouldn't. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't trade him for a million dollars. Um, I mean, that's fine and great, everything. But do you have anything on your finger that you wear every single day? I was day that- just going to say the two rings on my finger. One my dad bought me for my 21st birthday. It's a little eternity band. And then uh, my promise ring from you. Uh-huh. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. It was an afterthought. Sure, that's fine. I mean, you know, big deal. You um, always make me so mean. Mean? Yeah. Why? I was going through my list of things. Right, right, right. I was getting there. God, I uh-huh. took you a couple items before you said anything from me. No, I was. T- I I got right to it. I didn't take. F- no, you didn't. Wow. Okay. Well, you know, this, um, this took a turn for the worst. I. You know, I don't have a ring on my finger. By the way. I know. So there you go. Tell me you don't like them anyway, so. You should have heard them this morning. Me plus Kate. Radio Shack is closing 1,100 locations. Initially, it was like 400, 500. Now they've doubled it. They just need to stop trying to make Radio Shack happen. Yeah, maybe so. I don't know. I mean, the thing is about Radio Shack, and it's it's very convenient, like, because I have a studio. Yeah. If I need a cord... I can just go over to Radio Shack and go, oh, yeah, they have that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, there's so few and far between times that I need something in a pinch. And nowadays, you know, like Target and Walmart and uh, Best Buy has all that stuff. Yep. That Radio Shack may, I hate to say it, be obsolete, even though for years it's been so good to me. Well, I don't really care about Radio Shack, so well, you it should make because a the amplifier that runs the generator that runs this radio station, yep, is from Radio Shack. Well, all right then. Uh, a lot of equipment that you are now speaking through mm-hmm. has been purchased at a Radio Shack. Okay. So I, I'm saying, like, you know, you may not care because you don't have to put the stuff together, but. 
the guys that know the, the, what to do to make things work know that Radio Shack has a lot of stuff that other stores don't have. Well, isn't Radio Shack the greatest thing in the whole world, basically? Well, it, it is in some ways, but at the same time, it's kind of like, like the Sunglass Hut. We don't really need that because we can buy everything like that on the internet, but you yeah. go in there to try on the sunglasses to see what they look like on you. Yeah. You know what I mean? True. And yeah. if you're in the middle of something and like a, a cord breaks or something happens and you can go, oh, I'll just go to Radio Shack and they have it, it instead of waiting on Amazon.com to have it delivered a couple of days later. That's true. So there are benefits to a place like Radio Shack, but the weird thing is they spent like Two or three million dollars on an advertisement about refurbishing and on the re- Super Bowl. And so, what I think they're doing is they're closing a bunch of stores so they can save them enough money to where they can afford to, you know, do the overhaul that they want to do. Right. So I don't really know. I mean, it is kind of one of those things where it's a brand that's been around forever. Mm-hmm. So maybe there's some salvage to it, but uh, they, I hope I hope something happens. I mean, they have like 5,000 stores across the country, and they're closing like 1,100. So most of them. <laughs> a lot of them. They're still going to have yeah. like 4,000 some or yeah, 3,000. That's a sad. Some. I always find it sad when there's like stores from like my childhood that closed out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, like in Iowa, there's a place called Casey's General Store that my mom used to work at. Yeah. That was like a big deal. And I think they're still going, but but they're like, you know, like a 7-Eleven or whatever. You can get gas yeah. and stuff like that. But uh, it, it's weird now when you see something like that. You said like, because there was a dime store when I was a kid, like the Ben Franklin store. I don't even think that exists anymore. Weird. Yeah. Back in ancient times in my day. Back, back in my day. We had kids. a place called Radio Shack and they sold cords and whatnot. And that's gone. Gone! It's all gone now. Oh, sunny. that next morning. Me plus cake. I never felt worse. Now, uh, there's a guy that I watch on the internet. He has a mm-hmm. family, and it keeps growing. Uh, his name is Shay Carl, and his wife, Katie Lett, or Colette. Mm-hmm. And uh, they're called the Shaytards. You may have heard of them. If you know them, yeah, you know what I'm have. talking about. Uh, I mean, I know you do, but... <laughs> um, they just reached... The five year mark of doing daily YouTube videos. That's a lot. Of their lives. Like it's a reality yeah. show of these people. And I want to say this Shea Carl, when he started five years ago, was like 300 pounds. Mm-hmm. And he wanted to be better and he had a dream and he was a radio guy and he was living in Idaho. And uh, he now uh, is a co owner of a production company, a major production company for YouTube called Maker Studios in Los Angeles. He's got how many kids now? One, two, three, four, five. He's got five children. I think he's made two children while doing these daily vlogs. I don't even know how you... Dirty. But I'm I'm really proud of him because I've been watching him for a long time. And he's inspired me. And, uh, you know, in, in good times and bad times, I've been watching the Shaytard. So... Yeah. I really appreciate him and the fact that he's so driven and such a positive guy and puts such goodness out there in the world and in a world full of negative uh, a-holes in reality TV and all that kind of stuff. He's actually a good one. Mm-hmm. So I, I just I, – five years of daily videos. That's crazy. So I guess now that he has five kids and stuff – he has decided that he wants to do videos uh, a little less frequency. So frequently, I think that's like Monday through Friday they're going to do videos and take the weekend off. That's good. I don't know. Maybe he's it's just going to create more time babies for that your way. Family. Ew. It, it'll give him more time to create children. I don't know. No, but I love the Shaytards, and if you haven't watched them, you should watch them on youtubecom slash Shaytards. They are uh, a great family of people that you will it, – it, they'll seem like fa- your family before you know yes, it. Yes, they will. Because it's, it's weird because I I love his entire family, like from his, his mother and father, his sister, his brother, their kids, their whole scenarios. 
Shay's introduced me to Daily Grace. I didn't know about any of this stuff on the internet. You know, so you kind of go through these internet K holes and you find people when they do these collabs and stuff on YouTube. And it's a great, it's really cool. Mm-hmm. So, and I can relate to Shay Carl because I used to be a lot heavier and he was a radio guy and lost weight. And so uh, I think it's pretty cool that uh, he's doing what he does. So five years is a great uh, milestone. And Congratulations, Shay Tard. Shay Tard. Marconi Plus Sierra is me plus K. There are some shocking food facts that will make you question everything. Your whole entire life. Seriously. Like, here's one. All Fruit Loops taste the same no matter what color they are. <laughs> Did you know no. that already? Yes. Okay. They're just delicious. Uh, this is rings. what uh, you're, really is going on inside a couple noodles. They show a couple noodles, and it's just all coagulated like Top Ramen. I, I don't really understand why that's crazy. Twinkies definitely don't last forever. Uh, there's a stash of Twinkies, and they're only good for about 45 days. That is a lie. I know, right? I think you're right. So-called double-stuffed Oreos only contain 1.86% or 1.86% times the stuff. That's not double. No, it's not. Now, this is what I I think Captain Crunch on Twitter dispelled this rumor, but it says Captain Crunch is not, in fact, a captain because he has the, what, three stripes and a star, which is a commander. Uh, I think he explained this somewhere. And oh, what here it is. Hell? Let me look. I'm going to click the link because it says, uh, oh, all hearsay and misunderstandings. I captain the SS Guppy with my crew, which makes me an official captain. Good for you, Captain. Yeah, I mean, I love Captain Crunch. Don't. Why would anybody try to bring rumors. down the captain in any way? Uh, for years, Subway's footlongs were a big 11 inch lie. So they weren't 12 inches, they were only 11 inches? When? I don't know. I don't know that to be true. Did, it, did an American come up with that one? I, I don't. Who knows? <laughs> Uh, double dipping doesn't spread any more germs than single dipping. Yeah, because you touch things. Yeah, right. I you're... remember like going to parties and stuff, and everybody was so anal about double dipping. That's why I don't go to parties. And I was like, what is wrong with you? And I would always just do it anyways when they left. I'm like, screw <laughs> right? you. Don't tell me what to you do. You know, the thing is, is, I don't want to be at parties with people that are worried about me double dipping. I want to be friends closely enough with out. someone. Like, Jesus, relax, people. I want to be friends closely enough with someone that my double dipping doesn't matter. I've shared gum with people before. Oh. Chewed gum. All right. Well, since we haven't shared gum before, I guess we're not that close, so. <laughs> well, I was like 14. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, fine. Well, uh, thanks. Me plus cake. Yay. It's just me now. See ya. Marconi bologna plus Sierra cake. Me plus cake. Well, there you have it. Another edition of the Me Plus Cake podcast. Sierra cake just said BRB while I pee. She's testing out a new microphone in the other room, so... This is our time to be together. Yes, of course. Many of you have asked, like, are you going to be sad? Are you guys breaking up? No, we're not breaking up that I know of. But uh, we are going to be in separate places for a while. She's going to be in Canada and I'll be here. But uh, we are going to continue, as we've proven, to do the show, the podcast, whatever, every day. Uh, and, and thank you for listening. But, you know, don't worry. I mean, like I said, we just made a purchase to have a microphone to, to be able to, to continue this beautiful thing that we've started together. Sierra Cake, are you here yet? Yes, yes, I'm Oh, back. I was just saying goodbye to the podcast people and uh, telling, I told them that you were using the restroom, of course. Oh, gross. No, I mean, it's a hum- you're a human being, not a robot. Am I right? I wonder, I wonder what they heard. Oh, well, the microphone is really good, all I can say. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so we'll be back uh, tomorrow and me pl- Viva La Me Plus Cake. Or it, yes, Ariba. Something, yeah. <laughs> that was quite a show. Very entertaining. But it's over now. Oh. Shut up.
Push. Quit it now if you want to live. <laughs> 